was um, the Oscars, kind of, Oscars night, of the dog world last night. Yeah, celebrities and their pets turned out for the fourth Dogs Trust Honours to celebrate heroic and heartwarming stories from around the country. Lorna Ramsey was there too. There were plenty of celebrities on the red carpet, but it was the dogs that stole the show. My dog's a lovely girl, she's six, and she's a big old girl, she weighs more than my wife. So I never let her drink because I couldn't carry upstairs. The wife, no problem, not the dog. Big or small, curly or straight, dogs were the must-have accessory. I absolutely love dogs, I've got three dogs, I've just got a baby pug who's absolutely lovely. His name's Prince, and I, my surname's Charles, I call him Prince Charles. Dogs that save lives were honoured, as well as the people who find loving homes for stray and abandoned pets. I'm sort of a bit old school, you know, I believe in rescuing dogs and let's concentrate on the dogs that need homing rather than continuous breeding just to make money. Three dogs who make a huge difference to the lives of young people in North Wales were honoured. I get like old school at all. Since I was in the with the dogs, I feel like I've got a better career and future ahead of me. Barney, Wiz and Tully were given the Doggy D Devotion Award for their work for the youngsters who are at risk of being excluded from school. Look, it's a full house. <laughs> Tully, Wiz, Barney here, along with their own uh, Errol uh, Restall, Maggie McManus, and student Kimberly Fowler as well from the school where they all work. Welcome to you all. Good morning. How are they? Great. Yeah, dealing with the, the lights, cameras, all right? Pretty good. <laughs> he's only nine months old and he's doing his best. Yeah. <laughs> so, how young are they when, when you start training? I, I took him into school from seven weeks. Here. Wow. Um, so, he's trained entirely in the environment yeah. and is better for it. These were trained out of the environment and had to switch their skills into school. But he was trained in school and he's better for it. When you say skills and training, what kind of things do you put the dogs through and what do they have to be good at at the end of their, their spell um, with you? Obviously they need to be great loud kids. Mm -hmm. like, oh, come on, they always go. <laughs> yeah, you go. There go. For me, um, I would like to see much less bites in the country. There's a lot of children bitten um, because they don't know how to behave around dogs. Yeah. And there's a lot of dogs put to sleep because kids don't know how to behave. Um, Sorry, yeah, I just, <laughs> that's your fault. Yeah, that's your fault. Yeah, <laughs> and education is the way to do that. Yeah. Um, most schools just won't let you in. And we've been very fortunate that a head teacher in North Wales, and it's called Brunelian, uh, let the dogs in. We get to spend time with the kids. Yeah. And uh, I want kids to view dogs differently. So they're not an accessory, they're part of their family. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and it has helped, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah Kimberly, tell us about so your experiences and how these guys have helped you. Um, since the first day of secondary school, I just didn't take a liking to it. I thought, I don't like it, I'm not going. So I'd end up going to school about three times a week at the most. Yeah. I was then, um, my tenants officer, Gail Hughes, then came to me and said, if you leave school with no qualifications, and the future you want to do, which I want to work with dogs, you won't be getting that. I was then introduced to Maggie and Errol, and Errol just showed me the way. I was, I'm really grateful for it. Mm, it's incredible the impact they have. And what sort of results have you seen, Maggie, first time? Oh, this has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, it starts as an idea of um, Errol just coming in to do a demonstration uh, for some of the pupils, because I work with pupils who are potentially at risk of exclusion. And mm -hmm. um, we immediately saw the impact that it could have on, on the pupils. And that was just about 12 months ago. Uh, we developed a curriculum um, which has been really, really effective. But uh, uh, you know, in addition to that, we've looked at the therapeutic aspect of um, kids having contact with dogs. A lot of the pupils I work with, people like Kim, um, lack self-confidence, lack self-esteem. It comes out in different ways. And the increase in confidence and self-esteem in the pupils has been absolutely phenomenal. This is the most powerful thing I've seen in education is when we were teaching. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and yet yeah, it's so simple, really, on, on the surface of things, isn't Definitely. it? Yeah, no, it's incredible. You had a great night by the looks of things. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Dogs Trust, really, I couldn't believe what an event they put on. Yeah. Um, and we know the dogs are doing a great thing, and it's a way of paying forward into the community what they give to me. Yeah. Uh, you pay forward into the community. But for that to be recognised by the Dogs Trust and this event to be put on is amazing. Yeah, no, it looked like a great night. Very, uh, very uh, celebrity oh, filled oh, evening oh, as well, wasn't it? Oh. Look at that. Isn't that impressive? Yeah, just one question though. Um, what, what colour is that trophy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. There you go, brilliant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's all things gold. <laughs> all things ladies. All things ladies, in fact. We're asking you what you love about.